Hello, my name is Wes Dawson, and welcome back to another episode or whatever of Ghost Busting Wes. That's Ghost Busting without a G. A video journal detailing my journey brought to you by a lifelong Ghostbusters obsession and plenty of disposable income. Um, so here we are. Uh, originally, this episode is going to be detailing uh, the first steps of my Proton Pack upgrading my work being done to this beautiful uh, spirit of halloween pack instead it's going to be kind of a combo i guess a general view of the pack and just swag a whole bunch of things i ordered showed up uh things for the pack i've been waiting for uh patiently for quite a while showed up finally over from overseas and uh just a bunch of other cool stuff i got so i figured i'll uh take a look at some of that and then lay out the plan lay out the the modus operandum for this thing here and uh, what will be the next steps now that because uh, I couldn't really paint I didn't want to strip anything down until those parts I ordered showed up in case you know take everything apart and then eight months later don't remember where or how I put anything and then I'm kind of screwed all right let's get at it all right so first thing we'll take a look at is some of the accessory pieces that are for the pack you know the actual basis of what this video was supposed to be for so the first thing the main thing was my Ben of Kent kit I had ordered uh, with the sticker decals. I'll talk a little bit about uh, this this kit uh, a little later in the video as we look at it in a bit more in detail. And in that I had a, um, instead of the 80%, I ordered a 100% wand for the Spirit of Halloween kit. Uh, I wondered if, you know, testing my technical skills uh, was a good bet versus just buying another like a Hasbro Spangler wand instead of trying to build my own. But uh, here we are, so who cares? That's great. Got that from Ben Kent. The other thing I'd ordered was from another wonderful seller on Etsy. Uh, let's get the names here. Hobby Kit Shop right here. Uh, this came all the way from Bulgaria, I believe. And I looked at it quick. We'll take a look at it uh, a little later. This is basically a kit. Nice little LED lighting kit uh, for the Cyclotron. There we go, and uh, the other power light, I don't really know what it's called. Take a look at that in a sec. But, the real swag, let's just take a look at some of this. All right. So I picked up the entire Plasma series of Afterlife. I don't know if it's series one or two, I think it's series two. Anyway, uh, we'll take a look at those again a bit later. But uh, I was happy, I got the full set there, but I think, it's nothing compared to this guy right here. Um, the highly sought after Ghostbusters Lego Ecto-1 Afterlife uh, set. Very excited to start this. This is probably be its own little video series. Um, but for now, that's what we got. And we will insert here the Playmobil Ecto-1A, which will be arriving probably in about 10 days. Uh, so we'll take a look at that whenever it gets here. But for now, Take a look at some of this junk. All right, so there's no doubt this thing's pricey. Um, I just figured, hey, while I'm on a little spending spree, why not get the one thing I've been looking for? I found online crazy prices and Amazon crazy prices. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere else. Looking at Toys R Us, uh, someone suggested I went to the Lego Store Laval. If you're in the uh, Laval greater area, if uh, you're not familiar, uh, Laval is like a sister city island to, to Montreal up in Quebec, Canada. Called them up, uh, they had about nine in stock, so I said, uh, okay, I'll be there later tonight, which I was, and I picked this bad boy up. So this, like I said, I think this all detail in uh, its own video, maybe not the entire build series, because uh, you know I don't wanna take the fun away from building it by having to plan out shots and plan what I'm doing, but I'll definitely keep a little regular updates as to what's going on. I'm looking forward later tonight to starting this thing up. So there's that. Of course, we got our plasma series. We got a nice uh, little glare on there. Anyway, we got our old man Venkman. Little podcasts. Trevor. Old man Zedmore. Barely can tell the difference. Looking good there, Winston. Old man Stance. He's actually looking pretty good there too. It's really, really Venkman. They done dirty with that full gray hair. Uh, you know, uh, Stance got a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of his vibrant youth still going on in that look. And of course, Lucky here. Um, now, personally, I really dig these Plasm series lines. I find they're beautiful figures. I, the likenesses are good. 
Uh, I was kind of surprised when I went online the amount of people that were like sh uh, crapping all over, the <laughs> crapping all over these plasma series about the way they look. The only thing is, is they're quite stiff. The figures. Uh, I'm worried that if someone was, you know, either posing them for for like photo sets or a kid actually playing with them, they'd break quite easily. My um, 84 Venkman, his foot broke off the first time I tried to articulate his ankle. So there's definitely that as an issue. Um, overall, I just find they're great figures. I, I don't think I would have bought this series otherwise. Uh, these I noticed at the Toys R Us when I was looking for that uh, that Lego set here. Uh, I noticed they had these and they were marked uh, Dernière Chance, uh, 23 bucks. That's a uh, last chance. So they were, they were on sale. So I went back the next day and I asked to speak to the manager. And of course, they were all kind of reserved at first. I think they were expecting like a... Um, hey, I need to speak to your manager, but instead I, I said, no, no, it's, it's good. I just want to ask her a question. I said, like, what happens to these figures? Do you send them back to corporate? What goes on? Like, can I buy, if I wanted to buy a, a whole bunch of them, could I get a discount on them? Could I get the even more discounted? Um, so it's always worth asking, uh, the girl, uh, you know, I don't want to say, uh, which, which, uh, Toys R Us, I don't know if they're allowed. Anyway, um, wonderful, wonderful woman I met, uh, Audrey. Allowed me to get these, uh, gave me like the, so I was part of their members club discount. So I got to pretty much didn't pay the tax, picked them all up at a, at a steal. Um, happy to have them. Like I said, I maybe wouldn't have bought them otherwise. At least now I got the, enough Proton Streams if I want to put uh, the 84 series on that diorama that I'm printing. Um, I'm good to go. All right, so I've already showed this set on my Instagram, talked a little bit about it. Uh, basically, what I ordered was the Ecto-1A version of uh, the Playmobil or Playmobile um, Ghostbusters series. Uh, it was I couldn't seem to find it anywhere online. I looked, it was crazy overpriced. I don't know, I just wasn't looking very well because I went on you know Playmobil Canada's website and it was there for the you know, regular market price of 60 bucks or 69 bucks and uh ordered it so it should be here in about a week i was hoping to have it ready for the entire um you know swag show off uh segment but here we are it's good enough let's get at it and i forgot one item in the hall of course the beautiful slimer bobblehead check this little green spud all right uh again if you're ever in the montreal area you have to check out boulevard des jouets on des Carry. Uh, you know, you got a phone, search it, it's not for me to give you the address, I think you can handle that, you're, you're, you know, you're adults, presumably, or children on YouTube, you know, you'd have enough uh, sense about that. Uh, anyway, I went to that store, had all kinds of great stuff, um, it, a lot of Pop Funkos, if you're into Pop Funkos, got a whole lot of those, but a lot of cool figures overall, uh, some of the Ghostbusting things there were a little out of my price range, there's some retro Proton packs from Kenner, um, anyway, the owner was super nice, you know, and uh, I told him, look, I'm not leaving without something, preferably Ghostbusting related. I'll settle with Ninja Turtles. Anyway, I walked away with this uh, beautiful little green spud. Even the box, I like quite a bit. I don't know how to, don't know quite how to put that on display, but I liked it. Uh, he's slimy, a little illustration of him. Anyway, so I'll give you a little spud, isn't he? All right, so for the actual Proton Pack build, uh, there were three Etsy uh, artists, or Etsy vendors, I don't know what they're called, uh, that I ordered from to, to help spruce up this beautiful Spirit of Halloween pack. Uh, of course, the, this big kit, the big uh, Bertha right here, was from Ben of Kent Props. Uh, I'm going to talk about that specifically uh, when I get when I open up the, the, the kit itself. The other vendor I had bought from is a Hobby Kit Shop on Etsy, and that again was the Cyclotron Light Kit and the and the uh, you know Proton Pack uh, Battery Kit here uh, that uh, I'm excited to get working. And the third vendor I bought from, which hasn't arrived yet, is uh, Punk Rocket Props or Punk Rocket Pots. Anyway, I'll put the the link in the description below, which is basically the yeah, it'll be the big uh, red crank. Uh, switch uh, that goes underneath uh, the where, where, I, don't I don't want to use the wrong terms I get destroyed online by uh, ghost busting gatekeepers but anyway it'll be the big red power switch I'm going to integrate uh, just behind the ion arm and uh, it's going to be a beautiful addition to the pack so I don't have much to say about the lighting kit other than uh, I hope I don't mess it up and I install it uh, I'm, I'm a bit more of a, a carpenter uh than than anything so uh, the final electronics uh don't have quite the uh, quite the confidence i should but hopefully i'll get this working uh, no problemo 
uh, like I said, the other switch hasn't arrived yet. So let's take a look at this kit. Uh, the first thing I'll just say was, uh, you know, I got these these nice decals that go uh, that'll go on the pack. Um, maybe I'm just an idiot. Um, when these arrived, I figured they'd be in the box. They were taped in in like an envelope kind of thing. There was a message on it saying, "Oh, we upgraded the the throwing wand to a to a full resin instead of I guess a 3D print." Uh, which is great. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, but I didn't realize these these decals were in that envelope. So uh, there's an arrow set open. So I opened it there with an exacto, and I uh, slipped some of these beautiful stickers in two. So uh, let's just say, um, pretty colorful language last night. And I, you know, I got home late. I just want to take a peek. Oh, finally they arrived. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, big dum dum over here. Cut right through some of them. Hopefully they're salvageable. I'll see. And those are like seventy dollars stickers. So um, yeah, I wasn't too thrilled about that. Uh, the kit itself, the only thing I'll say, uh, anyone who's maybe have their feet wet to some degree with uh, prop building, ghost busting prop building, uh, there was a bit of controversy, it seemed, not really, um, uh, over Ben of Kent and uh, some of their delays and, and things like that. Um, I, per I don't want to shit on anyone. Uh, unless they really deserve it. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, Wes Dawson in the sense that I'm here to professionally shit on people, proverbially. Uh, <laughs> this is getting overly complicated. All I can say was, uh, it's a beautiful kit. It looks like it's going to be a blast to put together. It's well packed, all that. Um, I think I got the runaround for quite a while because, uh, I ordered this in uh, December. Uh, so that's a good seven, almost eight months, um, b before this arrived. Uh, whereas other things I'd ordered from the UK have arrived in a reasonable kind of, you know, COVID-ish delay. Uh, the only thing I say is don't, uh, you know, don't, don't pissing my cereal and, and, and tell me it's uh it's cornflakes like well it could be cornflakes but there's urine in it um i i just think maybe uh the, the volume that was over, that was that was taken in in orders was maybe exceeded the, the production capacity so certain orders were pushed down until they were until they were available i don't know um uh, ben the guy that i dealt with was was you know very quick to respond and uh like i said i, I <laughs> It's just weird that sometimes I have tracking numbers. Oh, it's in Canada. It's not quite. It'll be there Monday. It's like, well, you know, if, if it arrives here, it, it's not going to be shipped back uh, to the UK for, for whatever purposes. You know, once it arrives, it, it, it arrives. Um, that I don't have much issue with. I know some people were really jumping to his defense. It's not an attack on the guy. I was just saying, like, hey, just update your page. Just say international. There's like an eight-month delay for shipping, and then it wouldn't have been an issue, you know. Uh, there's other vendors that, that maybe could have made business uh, that, that, that can ship them out quicker. Um but people also saying, oh, it's a work of passion, this and that. It's a business. Like, if you're selling goods for profit, it's a business. So it's like, whatever. And like I said, I've not, nothing really bad to say. I'm happy with the kit. And, uh, you know, I waited patiently. I am a Canadian. You know, how, how angry can I get? Um, so, uh, yeah. So let's take a look at that. Like I said, I got the two sets of stickers. The only thing I, I'm hoping is because I ordered a 100% size wand kit. And the stickers that I really mangled were for, um, for the 80% wand. So hopefully... Uh, Hopefully I'll be all right with that. Here we got some of the main components of the... Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I guess the central block of the uh, Proton controller itself, the wand. This is handle pipes for it. And clip... Ah, there we go. The rainbow cable. Nice big meaty clip for that. Ah, we got a, a little protecting pieces at the end, uh, the tip of the wand. They're not orange, so people shouldn't be complaining. That's good. So there's the final kit to get the V-hooks, uh, the handles. I think it's going to be quite a bit of fun and probably uh, a lot of cussing trying to put this thing together and make it look presentable. Um, like I said, uh, my only issue is I'm not so great with fine electronics, so integrating switches and stuff into it. Like, look at this, uh, this clipper valve here. Like, that's beautiful. Much, much cleaner than, uh, the prints, <laughs> the prints I've been, I've been making. But, uh, so I'm looking forward to getting this going. All right, well, so that about does it for this week's episode. Uh, the next actual build video will be actually doing something to this pack. I think before I start, uh, you know, planning how I'm going to be installing stuff. What, what what's the next steps? Uh, I'm going to show a little bit how I hooked up my motherboard or how I installed the motherboard. 
and uh, you know because that was one thing I found kind of tricky and there's no direct way to do it online so hopefully that'll be helpful to some people uh, we'll go through that and then start planning the build itself I think the main thing will be to strip this down get it ready for painting and then uh, give it its coats of paint that I want to do and after that I can start uh, installing some of those beautiful Ben Kent pieces uh, assemble that new wand get those electronics working and uh, get that big switch and when I was talking about the switch it's it's kind of the afterlife switch uh, that it's a big red crank switch I realized won't even fit in there again another thing I we'll want to figure out uh, during the build but uh, that'll be the plan so uh, yeah hopefully uh, if you enjoyed that or even if you didn't like subscribe if you hated it I don't care just give me a subscribe but it's really all I'm begging for uh, one thing I do want to mention uh, this in another video I, I kind of went over the the paint job I put on the PK meter uh, it's still going strong one thing I'll mention is what I what I did after is I taped uh, the handle with uh, electrical tape and then over the battery pack I took that hobby knife and I cut out uh, you know the, the perimeter so I can still change batteries in it um, and the tape was peeling up it wasn't staying down so what I did was I put a like a piece of plastic uh, saran wrap over it and then taped it super tight with the masking tape left it a few days you can see the tape receded like a, maybe an eighth of an inch but uh, now it's stuck down nice and good um the way i purchased this uh, i got it off amazon and uh, amazon.ca to be specific uh, and, and these guys i bought this four times for some reason you know you'll order cat treats they'll put it with bubble wrap in a well packed box uh, diligently prepared to make sure nothing happens to those sweet sweet simulated chicken flavored treats and then this thing just comes loose in the bag. So the first time I got it, uh, the arm was broken off. The second time, it just didn't work. Uh, a third time, my sister ordered it to see if she'd have any better luck with her prime. Same thing, it just didn't work. Uh, I saw it go on sale for, I think it was 25 bucks. I said, hell, I'll give it a fourth try. Fourth time's a charm. It worked well enough. It had a bit of damage to it, but it worked well enough. I think they're just reselling the same crap people have been returning. I called them about it, and they're like, well, you know, now that we're making billions, we don't really care. So uh, there was that, but uh, so buyer beware if you're getting it on Amazon, if you can find it. I think in the States, I think you can still find these in Halloween shops. Uh, if any Americans are watching, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And if I'm right, damn you and your availability of cooler stuff all year round. Uh, that's about it. And also I'd mention that, uh, you know, I said I, I fit kind of little pieces of masking tape over it. And then I tamped them down, cut it with my hobby knife. And then I spray painted it without having to take the whole thing apart. I don't know if you'll be able to see... Um, Make sure if you do that, that you're, see, it's not too bad because you can barely see it on the video. But my hobby knife, I went a bit far around my cuts and I did leave kind of uh, marks on, on the PKE itself. Not overly concerned, it still works, it still tracks ghosts pretty efficiently, so uh, we're good to go. All right, well, my name is Wes Dawson. This has been Ghost Bustin' Wes. That's Ghost Bustin' without a G. I got to specify that, even myself. But it's very case-sensitive, that YouTube search. You put a G on there, it's finding nothing but Ray Parker Jr. So um, that's it. Next episode, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of this proton pack. We'll have, a, we'll have a laugh. We'll have probably a lot of frustrated French swear words coming out of me. And uh, that will be that. So hopefully tune in the next video. If you like that, subscribe. And get all your friends and family watching it. You know, devote your life to spreading the good word of West Austin and his ghost busting obsession. See you there.